Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create reusable snippets in Microsoft Word and save time. Now, many times you require to insert some text, image, tables, and those things are quite repetitive in your job. So if that's the case, then this video will actually help you in saving a lot of your time. I'll just demonstrate it with some example. Let us say I need to insert some signature uh, regularly in my document. So I created a shortcut for the signature. I just have to type some short text and the signature comes automatically. You can also do this for some images or some tables also. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create auto text entry for your text, image, tables and any other things. And four way to insert this auto text entry. I have just used one of the way, which is my favorite that is autocomplete. And also if you want to modify how to do that, please see this video till then so that you don't miss any of the things and you get the complete idea of how to use it so that you can save time working on Microsoft Word. So let's start. Let us say you have some of your text and you want to create an auto text entry. So creating auto text entry is very simple. Simple. Just select the text or image or table or any item for which you want to create an auto text entry. Then go to insert tab and in quick parts select auto text and here at the bottom click on save selection to auto text gallery. You can also use a keyboard shortcut that is alt f3 for doing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on save auto text entry. After you do that, you will get this dialog box for creating a new building block. So in this building block, you have to insert few of the details. And the first detail that is name is very important. So this is how you identify this block. You can type any name. Just make sure that if you want to use auto complete feature, which I've shown you in the beginning, then the name should be at least four characters long. Second thing is gallery, select as auto text gallery. Third thing is category and in category you can select either general or you can create your own category so that it is easy to manage. Now description it is not mandatory but sometimes it is useful and next thing is save in. There are two options first is normal.dotm and the second option is building blocks. Now there are advantages of saving in both of these. So if you want to use an auto completion feature that we have already used in the demonstration then you have to save it in normal.dotm. And if you want to create a reusable building blocks that you can share in another PC with another person, then you can save it in building blocks. But the disadvantage of building block is you cannot use an autocomplete feature. So if you are going to use it only on this PC, then go ahead with the normal .dotm. And options, there are three options, insert content only, insert content in its own paragraph and insert content in its own page. So all these three options are self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead with insert contents only and I'm just going to press OK. Now the process for creating auto text entry for image text or table or any other thing is same. So you have to do the same procedure for all of this. Once we have created, you can insert auto text by using four methods. I'll talk about all the four methods. So first method is go to insert tab, click on quick parts, then auto text. And here it will show you the list of auto text entry that you can insert with some examples. So here you will have name and this is the auto text entry. And if you hover over it, it will show you a description that we have written while creating an auto text entry. So this is how description is sometimes very useful. The one that we have created is this one signature one. You can see just click it and you get it. So this is the first way. Second way is you just go to quick part. You can go to building block and here you can see all the building blocks including auto text so you select the one that you want and you can insert so this is the second way but this both ways are a little bit cumbersome third way and the fourth way are faster so coming to the third way if you know the auto text entry name then you can type the name so in my case it is signature one the name is not case sensitive you can type just the name of that and then press f3 f3 is a shortcut to convert the name into an auto text entry in this method you have to remember the complete name of the auto text now the method that i've shown you at the starting of the video is auto complete feature the moment you type the fourth letter of the auto text name so you can see microsoft word hinting me with the name that is auto table the name of the auto text and then it says press enter to insert it even i don't have to type the entire name of the auto text you just ensure that the auto text that you are referring to is correctly given in the hint and if that's the case simply press enter so here i don't have to write auto table i just press enter here and i get 
the auto text entry so these were the four methods for inserting an auto text entry and now let's say you want to rename or delete or modify the properties of auto text then how to do it simply go to insert tab quick parts and then click on building blocks this is one of the method of inserting auto text as already shown but here you also get option to edit and delete so you just select the auto text entry that you want to edit click on edit properties and you will get a window that you got while creating an entry and here you can modify the contents and then click ok or you can also delete the auto text entry that you already created by simply pressing the delete button that's all in this video i hope this shortcut will help you save time and effort in microsoft word and if you want to see more such videos like this on tips and tricks on microsoft word excel and powerpoint then please consider subscribing to my channel and if you want to get notified whenever i publish a new video please make sure that you press the bell notification icon also